What's up guys, your boy Gozi Visuals in the building and this time around we're just going to be color grading this picture. We're going to play with our colors, play with our greens from the picture. We're seeing our greens here, we're seeing our blues, we're seeing a kind of purple and all of that. So we're just going to play around with our colors, we're going to be color grading. We're using our Adobe Lightroom. Uh, we're going to play with our basics, uh, tone curves and colors, color grading and all of that. And at the end of the day, we'll see the results of, you know, playing with colors. So let's dive right in. All right. So first off, uh, this picture was shot on Canon. 600d it has not been retouched as you can see there's still pimples and all of that so we're just going to just strictly color grading so first off we'll go to our basic uh we we'll do our here you see your auto your exposure contrast highlights shadow whites and blacks and all of that and you scroll down you see the texture clarity and all of that i mean we can see it there's no point uh listing them so first off you would you you would uh, want to adjust your highlight bring down your highlights a bit uh take up your shadows a bit bring down the blacks not too much it's becoming too much bring it down a bit uh you can choose to either increase your whites or reduce it um okay let's let's leave it here let's leave it reduced let's see okay let's increase our highlight a bit contrast mm, no texture we reduce our texture a little bit clarity mm, let's just add a little bit of clarity say uh 11 11 is okay 11 11 so uh we are the haze um okay 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 uh, the haze uh let's let's just let's leave our dhs for the moment okay so that's that's it for our basic so we we'll go to our tone curves so it depends on how you want to uh do the whole thing so either you can either go to tone curve or you go to your colors this is where you take full control of the major colors that you can see there's your green we can go to our green and adjust it is that will bring it up here or bring it down here but here's it's not looking like what i would like to get so i would want to bring it here a bit and leave the saturation and the luminance and and all of that so i'll go to our blue i would love to increase my blue a bit to make it pop uh increase the luminance to brighten it up because i mean in color grading you have to make sure that your the colors that is your four colors are you know more in view than your uh behind color or something like that your background color you get so as to shine more light on your model or what is in focus in this case our model so uh, we increase the luminance of our blue and all of that so uh yep then we go to our tone curves here we have the shadows down here and here we have the highlights and middle of here is our mid tones for this part we just this part is just uh trying to adjust the lights as you can see if you take take it up too much you're getting something else bring it down too much you're getting something else so So leave it in the middle and then come here you can bring down this or not come here and bring here down just to add more shadows to the shadows like the black side of it this is more like the darkest part of uh the whole scheme the darkest, darkest part of the whole color uh, uh stuff um, so this is our mid tones. We either increase it a bit. Let's increase it a bit. Uh, from what we are seeing, uh, there's lights. Adding a little bit of lights. 
to our highlights and all of that so let's go to our colors first i love uh doing working you know adjusting the blues first the blues so you just click and select your points select your points then for our shadows we can choose to increase it a bit oh okay i think increasing it is preferable uh okay we can choose to reduce um okay let's 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 leave here like this we reduced it a bit uh you have to be subtle when you're working with your tone curves because any slight adjustment you start getting something else so these are mid tones so you just have to play around and decide on what you want mid tones if we increase it we are adding more a, a little bit of uh, blues to our our highlights and okay let's leave it there and this one we can still choose we can still decide to increase it or decrease it but i, I think we'll just leave it up here and um what else what else do you want to do let's go to our red and know if we can make any much adjustments on our reds just make sure just choose your, select, your three points and then adjust from there mm, nope uh, i don't think i don't think there's much adjustment to do with our reds mm, okay let's see uh okay this is this is kind of not bad kind of kind of mm, i think you just removed uh, uh okay let's let's go to our highlights so so from the wheel that we can see here we can see that taking it up is adding more red to our if it's from here adding more red to our highlights if it's here adding more red to our shadows and then down here which is uh the opposite of red is cyan so down here you adding more cyans so either your highlights your mid tones or your shadows and uh, yeah that's basically it let's go to our green and see if we can make any adjustment for the green you can see the green and the purple so this dep uh, depends on what you want to add or remove so let's make our selection points okay as we can see from what i did uh you can it's, it was adding more greens and removing the the purple removing the purple okay 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 uh i think that's basically that for curves for now for now let's see our before and after this is our before this is our after let's zoom in our before okay let's 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 see our before and our after we can see our picture is coming to life gradually so uh from there we go to our calibration this is where we alter our colors also a little bit a little bit is is a very vital and important part of color grading especially when you're using your lightroom so we we'll go to visit our reds and we we'll decide what we want to do first of all take it to the extremes see what you're getting take it to the extremes see what you're getting and you just play around play around play around play around play around the colors and know which one suits what you're trying to get okay i don't think we should start with our reds let's go to our green and see what we can get here okay 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 i like what i'm seeing here but as we are moving it to this side we can notice that the colors of our green is changing so if that's what you're still going for by all means go ahead and we increase the saturation or we reduce it so let's increase it let's increase it and then we'll notice that on her face the 
red the color of our skin is changing it's changing to something else which is not what we we really want so we'll try to make a little bit adjustment to that don't don't reduce the saturation so much so that the color of the skin starts fading so i think 12 is okay then we'll come to our blues uh let's see let's see this or this so i would love to come to this side mm. and then i leave it at 18 then for this uh okay okay this is not bad this is not bad uh but the the, the blues are kind of blowing out of proportion so let's leave it let's leave it here and um I, i'm still having a problem with the skin still having a, a slight problem with the skin with the skin color okay i think this okay this is okay let's see the before and after the before and the after the before and the after we can see how the skin has been transformed just like that <laughs> So we go to our color grading. Uh, this is where we have our mid tones, our highlights, and our shadows. So basically, here is just choose the color you want to be in your shadows, choose the color you want to be in your highlights, and then adjust the saturation of it. That's the amount of the color that you want to see. Uh, let's go to our sh our shadows. This is our shadows. We can see that as we make as we're choosing the the, the blue we can see the difference in what we are getting and all of that so you can just uh, increase it first and then play around to see the color you want to leave on your picture so I think this color is not bad then you can decide to reduce the saturation of it reduce reduce the saturation and uh, it can go around again to see okay i think here is okay but i just let's reduce the saturation saturation to 11 is okay okay so we go to our highlights first okay let's go to our mid tone so we know where we are we can increase it to a certain extent and then move around and decide hmm i like what i'm seeing here i like this i could still go for this that's the beauty of color grading there are a lot of colors you can play around with and all of that so let's let's say we are going for this this is okay this is yeah this is okay but i think it's a little bit much so let's reduce the saturation by by a little then go to our highlights choose what we want to be in our highlights mm, i like how the blue was in our highlights okay i think we should leave the blue um what do you guys think mm, i mean at this point you have to make some live decision um okay okay let's leave the blue and all of that let's leave the blue and um here you can adjust the exposure of the color that you added so for the highlights increase it for the for the mid tones you can decide to decrease or increase it increasing it here is blue in that of proportion so we'll just leave it at middle here is giving it so much making it dark 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 so i think uh, here is okay um okay and that is it that's basically it for our color grading then you can go to your details and add the amount of sharpening you want you may add noise reduction but i don't like adding the noise reduction because it's it over smoothens the skin so um i think let's see what we have done with our color grading here's the before here's the after here's the before here's the after before 
after i think let's go to our tone curve again go to the blues i think i really want to see more blues in the highlights um, more blues let's see more blues i feel the color of, the, of her clothes is actually blown out of proportion like it's too bright so let's reduce it mm -hmm. i think this is better yeah this is this is way better this is way better we can now decide to adjust the color of um the red but there's no there's really not much red um okay you can decide to adjust the color of our skin here but be careful so that you don't overdo it uh okay and increase the, the luminance and uh, reduce the saturation a bit just a bit just a bit and that is it about that so let's see the before and the after of the whole image you can still go to effects and choose to add the vignettes just to give it a few but don't add it too much just to give it a few uh okay we can still come back to our uh, dehaze and clarity and all that guess let's reduce our texture a bit and reduce our dehaze uh, okay let's 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 leave it here let's leave it here uh i mean that's that about that there's nothing much there's nothing much uh you just about playing with your colors and identifying the, the colors that is in your picture from here we are seeing the blues we are seeing the greens and then we are seeing the orange and probably the yellow let's see let's 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 go to the yellow and see what's up is there much of yellow okay there's there's actually much of yellow mm -hmm. so let's leave it here yes i like this prefer I, I like this we can still increase the saturation or decrease it um what do you think increase the luminance or decrease it okay let's let's leave it here and voila there you go so that's how you make the magic of color grading let's see our before and our after so this is the before of our image and this is the after of our image we can notice the difference in the color you do the greens is not just about increasing the saturation is about composing the whole colors in your image and bringing it to life you know making it to pop out more mind you the picture is not retouched yet so that's why the skin texture is not really that looking all right but this is just the color grading so you can see the difference and all of that so from here there's the before and this is the after let's see mm, okay the before and the after so talking about color grading uh we can color grading is just basically about composing the colors in your image and editing them in a way that they are subtle to the eyes because from the original image of this it looks okay but if you have not color graded it you can notice the difference that this one this image has a feel it has a feeling more than this this is just like blank but you will notice it when you don't color grade it so when you color grade you're just giving the image a feeling so that's just basically that recognize the pictures recognize the colors in your image and it will help you to color grade better to know what you want and how to adjust it better so that's just that about that if you like this video don't forget to subscribe yeah that's it peace